So security onion just got an update. This is what I have in my home lab and my deployments that I have. It's just a regular security onion. I'm running version 2.3.110. However, there's an update out there. If you saw the news a couple of days ago, Security Onion published that they have a new latest version, which is 2.3.130. I'm very excited about this version because if you look at what they're saying, they're saying that it actually comes with new dashboards. There's going to be a new dashboard app. So if you look right here, it's just this information here. There isn't any dashboards. You can have the hunt interface, but that's about it. In this case, today I'm going to update my current security onion to include the latest one. So if you want to install this security onion, I highly encourage you to just go to GitHub Security Onion Solutions and download the latest version. If you already have an installation like myself that is already running, we're going to use the soup, which is security onion updater software that they have to update to this version. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First thing is we need to SSH into our security onion. So it's SSH, then your username, then the IP address of security onion, your password. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm now going to, I just want to become root here. So to, all right, so once we update, I'm going to show you what it looks like, of course. But for now, if you are curious, how do we update Security Onion? If you have an existing instance, you can use soup, sudo soup, or just soup in this case for me. You don't need sudo if you're already root, but I'm just running it just in case you are not root. And this might take a while since we are actually updating it using the Security Onion updater. But we're going to just say press enter to continue and this would take a long time so what changed well a lot of things they actually have moved around here so for starters we get new dashboards which is going to be nice they are pre-built dashboards they look great and in addition to that in, in addition to the pre-built dashboards we can cre create our own dashboards we can even have pie charts so i'm looking forward to those and of course we have analyzers and observers this release also includes updates to this we are getting a new version of elastic search elastic which is uh, the engine behind everything we get fleet which is newer zik4 which is really nice in this case elastalet for alerts um kratos attack navigator this is really exciting stuff i'm telling you then of course we have um tensorflow we do not have the hive in this case as you can see uh, it's no longer supported so if you want to see all these tools being used by me on this channel please remember to like subscribe and join me every sunday at 9 pm central standard time i will be using the new version of security onion that i'm actually updating in addition to that i'm also going to be installing security onion in azure using the marketplace template I'll be providing this instance to all of my subscribers who are members of my channel. So every Sunday when I attack uh, machines, I can give those subscribers accounts on my instance so that they can sign in and follow along and play with it. Because I do understand that not everyone has access to hardware or resources to do this. So if you are already a member on my channel, I will be creating um, a security onion instance and I'll give you a link that you can always sign in and follow along and see attack traffic with me, which is very exciting. But for now, as you can see, soup has been updated. Please run soup again. So there was one change here. All right, let's run soup again. Hit enter. All right, so this will take a little bit. So I'll pause here and we'll come back. And then as you can see, it says, press U to update the the OS packages, oh yeah, I'm hacking. Here's you. So it's going to update all the OS packages and I'll be back. Or sip a foot. Allow me to explain. So I live in Calgary, Alberta. God's country. And gas is $1.46 per liter. It's about four. Hi, everybody.
everybody. Uh, my name is James Murray. I'm here to talk to you about my career. Island boys have been posting videos with a mysterious third man lately, who has been deemed the third island boy by viewers due to his similarities to the rappers, including his Wix haircut, tattoos, grills, and manner of speech. All right, so what happened here is we downloaded new Docker containers and we ran salt states to update everything here. So now, as you can see, my security onion is done. Let me see um, if Docker com containers are up. So Docker PS, I see a bunch of um, containers, newer ones, hopefully. So let's run so status, see what is our status here. I'm assuming some of these, um, yep, they're all okay, as you can see. So let's go and for the review, find out what does the new security onion look like. Go back to our browser. We have a cached version. So let's sign in. I'm going to close Kibana for now. And it's like, whoa, 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 we don't know what you're talking about. I am not too worried. That's the old Kibana, so let's go to the new one. All right, first, I have the exact version all the way at the bottom here. You can see I have dashboards, which wasn't there. I have the hunt and cases and pickup, which is no regular stuff. So let's look at our lists quickly. I'm looking over the last seven days for my last live stream. If you are here last Sunday, you probably know about this. It still loads the data from last Sunday, so I did not lose any data, which is very, very, very good. I still have my uh, benchmarks for my Wazoo agents. Now let's check out the dashboards. What do they look like? Uh, this is looking over the last 24 hours. I'm going to put the last seven days because I have some interesting traffic from attacking um, a machine last seven days. All right, this is interesting. We've got some um, a horse best, uh, broken, which makes sense. Just a little bit of drug DNS. So I'm assuming the length, I mean the thickness of these lines shows us the type of traffic that we have. Uh, here's by distribution, Windows event log. This awesome bunch of horse best traffic from Sysmon. Then a little bit of network. And here's our machine, DC don't win domain.local this is amazing this is a game changer i'm telling you this is a game changer i'm excited about this all right and we have our cases and the hunt interface is still the same uh we have our cases here and if you want to see me play around with this new security onion please join me on sundays at um 9 p.m central standard time then we can actually use this one and try to identify more. The one thing that I have to do is go ahead and um, check the version of the Wazoo agent and make sure that all my host base intrusion detection system are running the same version of the Wazoo agent. In this case, it's 3.13. So I don't think I do, but I need to verify that. But of course, I have a new version of uh, Elasticsearch. So I still have my PCAP from last time. Uh, in my administration, I can add more users. I still have my cyber chef, but the dashboards are the biggest uh, change here. So Kibana is still the same, nothing changed here. Just a new elastic search uh, backend, otherwise, um, the data is still the same. And Grafana, also, we didn't change anything here. We still have the same Grafana dashboards. So that's the new updated uh, security onion. If you're interested in seeing this in action, Please remember to like and subscribe. And this coming Sunday, I'll be sending some data here and show you how I can use this new dashboard to quickly come to answers about detection and also create some cases for us to actually investigate and follow along with every change that they um, updated right here, including the analyzers and creating new dashboards by yourself. So thank you for being here and I hope to see you next time.